Huh? Why can't I say what I want to say? <laughs> you have quite the appetite. All right, I'll give you the recipe. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world, and encountered many bizarre phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. And the process was convoluted and unimaginably difficult. But it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Then I'll grant you even greater reward. When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number eight of the Genius Society. I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. I do trust you. The researchers are still treating I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are It's getting late. Where to now? where the space station stores ding why would anyone want to know that wait i'm not doing any private business on the space station i have absolutely no knowledge of it you're so cute can i get an autograph so i really can't say anything about autograph what are you on about <laughs> i won't talk to you 
Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Seems to be the place. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ram May's life cultivation formula. It says, 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of star. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First thing. Hmm. We need to add. Mm. And now we... Yikes. <laughs> Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society. But once she... Yes, she's... The end result? is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One, stop complaining, change your attitude, and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the two. Energize yourself. Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Oh, praise be. Oh, let me tell you, sir. since you're so in you need to plaster hearts wherever. the little I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart what are you frozen in place for oh you do Wakaka I'm a genius that was way oh molten cheese tarts molten cheese tart says molten cheese tart there's a kind of attachment with- Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten? Good! You have cr- You see, they both hope to receive- You need to call it- <sighs> Love from the cr- I don't know! Remember, as long as- That- That- <laughs> Oh? Madame Ronme is very... I don't know about her, but so... Did I ask? Ron May likes to listen to the space. Ah, so... Mm. 
no idea. I just listen to comedy skits. So, <sighs> as expected. <sighs> You're here. Herta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. And now? I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters. Just in case, I want someone who- Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you. Don't pr- Alright, let's go. You're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. It's good to see you, madam. Affirmation. This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? Hmm. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. You wish to kick Steven out? No, of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have a chance to be involved in this decision-making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Yes, a fifth genius. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar will definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. What about you, Chingtu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Can we ask her to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Of course! You brought her in, after all. 
It's up to you. All right. Let me walk you out. And what the heck is this? Seems like a programming error. Oh, this fragment of Huamei. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? The simulated universe is my home. Ugh. I'm speaking nonsense again. It's probably an isolated glitch. <sighs> Fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Rane? <laughs> I probably will. Records indicate she likes this occurrence. All right, I agree. As long as it helps you with your re- Come along. I'll see you out. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her, after all. Thankfully, it was just a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the Master Control Zone. Thank you. No, you misunderstand. While Herta is tied up in meetings, you- There are some things that I must tell you now. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the star, and now my headache is stored there. There's much you don't know about them, but there is some information I can give you. I'm giving you my access card. Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come- Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my- Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. What would a sealed zone look like? 